And if we pour all our efforts into this final week, if we vote like never before, then we will elect Joe Biden, President of the United States. We'll elect Kamala Harris, Vice President of the United States. We will establish once again what this country stands for, what our values are, who we are as a people. Let's get to work, Florida. Let's bring it home. More than 225,000 people in this country are dead. More than 100,000 small businesses have closed. Half a million jobs are gone in Florida alone. Think about that. And what, what's his closing argument? That people are too focused on COVID. He said this at one of his rallies. COVID, 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 he's complaining. He's jealous of COVID's media coverage. If he had been focused on COVID from the beginning, cases wouldn't be reaching new record highs across the country this week. If we were focused on COVID now, the White House wouldn't be having its second outbreak in a month. The White House. Let me say this. I lived in the White House for a while. You know, it's a controlled environment. You can take some preventive measures in the White House to avoid getting sick, except this guy can't seem to do it. He's turned the White House into a hot zone. Just yesterday, he said that Putin of Russia, Xi of China, and Kim Jong-un of North Korea want him to win. We know. We know because you've been giving them whatever you want for the last four years. Of course they want you to win. That's not a good thing. You shouldn't brag about the fact that some of our greatest adversaries think they'd be better off with you in office. Of course they do. What does that say about you? Tweeting at the TV doesn't fix things. Watching TV all day doesn't fix things. Making stuff up doesn't fix things. You've got to have a plan if you want to make people's lives better. You've got to put in the work if you want to make people's lives better. And along with the experience to get things done, Joe Biden has concrete plans and he's got concrete policies that will turn our vision of a better, fairer, stronger country into